Good morning. Once a year, when we were children, we were allowed to eat dinner in front of the TV. And this was whenever The Wizard of Oz came on. It was a little bit of a scary movie, but there was so much about it that was intriguing to me. But I learned a lot about things that I had no idea about before, right? Flying monkeys and witches that have striped socks, but also about tornadoes. I didn't grow up in a, in a part of the country that experienced tornadoes. And so it was fascinating to me to see these little houses being flipped up inside this funnel cloud. Not so fascinating for real life experiences. Regardless of where you live in this country, there are certain acts of God, right? Air quotes that take place. Hurricanes on the East Coast and now with much greater frequency Tornadoes in the Midwest, and on the East Coast where I grew up, earthquakes. Earthquakes were part of our existence, to where we had earthquake drills at school, and were often woken up by the shaking of the house, the windows shattering in their, or shake, quivering in their uh, frames, and lights swinging. You could feel the earth moving under your feet. As with all of these natural disasters, these catastrophic experiences that insurance companies label as acts of God, probably because they're much bigger than we could fathom on our own, these, experience, these, these natural disasters don't just come at a moment's notice. There are all kinds of conditions that have to be met before these natural disasters take place. Circumstances that compiled one upon the other deep within the ground in the case of earthquakes. The tectonic shift of plates that the reverberations then funnel all the way up through all the layers of the Earth's core to the surface where we feel them. These experiences of nature, there are parallels in our own life. Have there been circumstances in your life that you've kept buried deep within, shifts in your thinking, or shifts in the way you understand the world and humanity, and maybe even God. Have you kept those buried? And do you find now that there are reverberations in your life, years later, aftershocks, that are roiling through your relationships, whatever kind, disturbing the status quo, and making a mess of your life, or maybe just of your thinking. These acts of God don't, God doesn't send them to teach us a lesson. Nature creates these according to all those circumstances that need to be in place. But we can learn something from them. And perhaps these acts of God in our own life, these situations that we have buried by our own free will, can be saved, healed, restored, brought back to wholeness through the divine healer by revealing the, the rifts and the cracks in our lives, the way the, the, um, the fault lines show in our relationships, by exposing those to the God who loves us, could there be a healing that we could not have done on our own? We tend to box things up that we don't know what to do with. We put them in this nice, neat little box on the shelf so we can forget about them. The problem is they don't stay nice and neat. They start to leak over time, and you've got this big mess that, it, that begins to contaminate everything that we touch. Invite the Divine Healer to come look at the origins of some of those situations that have resulted in difficult, painful catastrophic situations in your life. This is the time to do it. If you've put it off, today is the day. Sit down with the God who loves you. Uncover that which you've buried and allow God's loving gaze and God's insights to begin to help you to make some sense of the devastation that is still wreaking havoc in different areas of your life. Know of my prayers for you.